Greetings, everyone. If you say you have no prejudice, you're a liar. I think everybody has uh, some form of prejudice. But um, some people, it goes so deep that they're biased towards other people. Uh, not just affects them, but it affects the ones who they hold these prejudice against. Hopefully, I'm not one of those individuals, but I do have those prejudice. And to be honest with you, I must say that I don't like men who cry too much and complain too much. If you're a man, I do understand that there are a lot of obstacles in your way. But as a man, I think you're supposed to push through it. You're supposed to fight through it. You're supposed to be like a soldier. Uh, a soldier on the battlefield, which is life. Uh, let's look at the term soldier. What does a soldier do? They're there to defend their country. And in this case that I'm talking about, you're there to defend yourself as a man. Right? If you're violated or if anyone's standing in your way of achieving, you're supposed to fight through that. Okay? When you think of the word bravery, individuals who are called brave are heroes. And we hear about the hero's welcome. Uh, individuals are not honored when they're cowards. Bravery. So you can show bravery in, in battle, whether it be on... Uh, the field where you're defending yourself or defending your country or bravery by pushing yourself through, push yourself through. So not all heroes are dead. Usually that's how it used to be. But now we're celebrating people as heroes, even when they're alive. I love men that can be classified as heroes, the ones who see the obstacles in front of them and find a way to go over, go under, go around it and not just complain and, and cry. I think us ladies, a lot of us are very emotional. We'll cry for you. We'll cry for you. We'll cry with you. But regardless of what's happening in, in your life, you're supposed to push through it. If you fall a hundred times, you get up again. You've got no choice. And then we think about gallantry. When we're told that someone is gallant or, or showed gallantry, that person is bold, that person is courageous, that person is fearless, you know, uh, that bravery that you can't deny. I like to see that in men. So the next time you're going to complain as a man that, you know, other men are doing things to you and other men have put obstacles in your way, Understand that the moment you start to succumb to that as a man, you have lost the battle. You have lost the race. You're supposed to get up. You're supposed to let the other men know that I am here. I'm standing right here in this battlefield and I'm going to fight to the end. You're going to fight to the end. You're going to stand up and you're going to defend your honor. You're going to defend your family. You're going to defend your you know, your children, your wife, your, your, you're going to defend yourself. You're not going to fold your arm and let someone walk into your home, walk into your life and take what is rightfully yours. So for those men who come to me and try to attack me because I'm not holding your hand in every situation and I'm not always speaking nice and soft to you, well, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm trying to set fire on, under you. Maybe I'm trying to make you angry. Maybe I'm trying to wake you up, which is what I do a lot. Sometimes the things I say to black men are provocative. Uh, sometimes the things I say, I don't necessarily mean it because my love is very deep. But honesty is important when you're speaking about matters in life. And when we are criticizing other folks, we have to look at ourselves too. I got flaws. And sometimes I say, okay, how can I fix this? And sometimes I try. I'm not saying I always succeed. I don't always succeed. But I keep trying. I never stop. And all the things that I face, all the battles I face in my life, I complain about them, yes. 
but I don't stay there. I move on and I need to see that in our men. I need to see that in black men. I need to see you stand up and move above and beyond the barriers in your life. I know you can. I believe in you. That's why I'm pushing you. And I don't just push uh, my children or my family. I, every person that I know, I always encourage and I always push them, push them, push them past uh, the, the, that complacency where you just say, okay, well, this is the reality of life. You don't have to accept it. Look at some of these individuals who come from the worst poverty. They never accepted that. And so regardless of what's happening in my life and how impossible some things seem, I don't accept it. I don't accept poverty first and foremost. I don't accept it. I absolutely hate it. And um, every time I find myself in a situation where I see it, you know, coming close, I resist. I think we have to resist. We have to resist, you know, depression. We have to resist poverty. We have to resist the things in life that doesn't allow us to grow, doesn't allow us to achieve our greatest potential. Bravery and heroism is something that we all admire in other persons. It's about time we start to demand these things from ourselves. Stay blessed, everyone.